In this lesson, you will learn about the commutative property of both addition and multiplication. Basically, the commutative property says that no matter which order, so if we have five times seven, or we have five plus seven, no matter the order, I can it will be the same. So if I have five times seven or seven times five, or if I have five plus seven or seven plus five, okay, this should be the same. These two should be the same and these two should be the same. So five times seven, five groups of seven is 35. Seven groups of five is also 35. So five times seven is the same as seven times five. It's commutative. You can flip it around, you can move them around, and they're still the same answer. If we add five plus seven is 12. And if we add seven plus five, we get 12 as well. So the order doesn't matter. I can flip flop the order and it comes out to be the same answer. Let's do one more, a little bit more challenging. If we have maybe five plus seven plus three. That should be the same as if I change the order. So let's say seven plus three plus five. So let's check to see if that works. Seven plus three is 10, and if I add 10 to five, I get 15. So let's see if that's the same over here. Seven plus three is 10. If I add that to five, I still get 15. So the order does not matter when you are multiplying or when you're adding. You can move them around and you will get the same answer. And that's the end of our lesson on the commutative property of addition and multiplication.